years ago after a routine mammogram, Jennifer Pavlik found out something she never knew. She had what's called dense tissue in her breasts. They just told me that my um, breast tissue was more dense um, and that it was harder for them to see on mammography, um, you know, maybe something, some abnormal pictures. And this issue is now making its way into Maryland law books. Just last month, Governor O'Malley signed a bill requiring mammography providers to notify women who have a certain level of density in their breast tissue. The law takes effect October 1st. Mercy Medical Center breast surgeon Dr. Neil Friedman says he believes the law will create confusion among patients and doctors. The problem is the measurement of breast density with routine mammography that we get now is very inexact, number one. So the tool is just okay. Um, the other problem is in the interpretation. Um, so we need to change the way mammograms are interp interpreted so that it's more consistent across the board. Right now it's very inconsistent from one reader to another reader. And Dr. Friedman says right now there's no good scientific answer about what to do for women like Jennifer with very dense breast tissue. If you add the breast density to some other risk factors, then we may consider should they get MRIs, should we add ultrasound to their screening. But for the average patient, I probably won't do anything differently.